Hello everybody and welcome back to the fifth video of our series of watercolor painting. Now for this video we're going to go ahead and paint this beautiful scene of an ocean sunset with of course the nice water, beautiful sky, and of course the pretty yellow-orange sun in the middle. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. So as you've seen today, we're going to be painting this beautiful ocean sunset with the ocean in the bottom half, you have the sky behind, and of course the really pretty setting sun. So what we're going to have to do is go ahead and start with the bottom half of the paper, this nice dark blue coloring right here. And then we'll go ahead and color the sky, and then finally the sun. So without further ado, I first recommend that because we are painting to the edges of our paper, that you have some kind of newspaper or paper towel that will be protecting the surface that you're painting on. So whatever table you're painting on, I recommend you have something protecting it from the paint that we'll be using today. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're going to do is paint the bottom half of our paper. And what we're going to do is we're going to use this broad brush right here. We have two types of brushes. We have the small one and then the broader one right here. We're going to go ahead and use the broader one because we're going to be covering a lot of area. So we're going to go ahead and dip that into the water and then go ahead and start swirling it around in the blue coloring and go ahead and do that a couple times. You don't have to press down really hard. Just go ahead and mix it around. Get that pigment in the water. So once you have that and once you get some blue coloring on your paintbrush, we're going to go ahead and get started. So let's go ahead and first we're going to do is we are going to Start with one straight line across, and this will be our horizon. Now, I have said that we're going to be painting halfway, or at least this bottom half will be a dark blue, and this bottom half will be the sky, so a light blue. But really, you can go ahead and choose to have as much sky or as much water as you would like. I'm going to go ahead and choose a little bit more water, so obviously this is just a little bit higher up. But whatever you decide to do, it will look great and it will be perfectly fine. So I'm going to go ahead and start with that horizon right there. And right there we have our first part. So now what we're going to do is we have a lot of area to cover. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna dip back into the blue and go ahead and kind of spread it around. So spread it around like this as much as you can. Go ahead, keep dipping it back in and spread it around like this. Obviously it's not pretty, it's not neat yet, but that's totally okay. Go ahead, spread that around. And then once you have this, before it dries too much, what we're going to do is really utilize the watercolor. So the beauty with watercolors is that you can dip it back into the water and spread it around on the paper and you can really take that blue coloring or whatever color you're using and take it much further. You can spread it out much more and conserve some of your paint. So that is what we're doing right here. And if, you need, and if you really think you need to, go ahead and dip it back into the blue coloring. And go ahead and spread it around just like that. Now, one quick tip I'd like to give 
when you have a large amount of paint that you need to cover, especially when it's the same color, what you may notice it's going to be hard to get to the edges without going ahead and painting outside of the paper. Now what you can do is you could go up and down. However, I found that it, is, it looks much better if you go ahead, take from the edges, start from the edge, and then go ahead and stroke inwards towards the inside of the paper. Not only will you not go ahead and get paint outside of the paper as much, but also you will have a uniform looking stroke right and left rather than it going right and left and then up and down. It doesn't look as uniform and though it doesn't have to be perfect obviously if you go ahead and keep it all your strokes in one area going one way and then maybe another stroke in another area going another way either way if you keep the areas with the same type of stroke right and left like this way instead of up and down it'll look much nicer and it'll look really really good So, as you can see, we have the majority of our water done. But what you may notice is there is a few basically white spots where the paint just did not reach. And there is no problem with that. That is totally fine. All we have to do is go back over and just lightly color back over that. And make sure that this ocean is nice and beautiful blue. Alright, so we have our ocean now. Now what we're going to need to do is paint the upper half, or the sky, and the sun. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to paint the sun first. So, let's go ahead and let's start out. First let's go ahead and use this skinny brush. So we just got done using this broader brush, we're gonna go ahead and start using the thinner one now. And what you may wanna do is go ahead, wipe it off, get some of that blue paint off of there. And we're gonna dip it in the water and go ahead and start coloring in the yellow. So we're gonna go ahead, keep dipping it in the water a couple times and getting that yellow pigment into the water. Right, so we have done that. Now let's go ahead and paint the outline of our sun. Now this sun can be as large as you want or it can be as small as you want. It is completely up to you and you can customize it as you would like. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and paint a half circle. Obviously my circle is not perfect and that is totally okay. Your circle, your sun, however big or small it is, does not have to be perfect. It will look just fine. So now we have this yellow arc along the water. We're gonna go ahead and keep with the yellow and the small brush, and we're just gonna go ahead, finish that outline with the water. You may have to be careful. Try not to get any of the yellow paint mixed in with this blue right here. And then finally, we're gonna go ahead and color in our sun. Again, I recommend keeping the strokes going from right to left. You could go ahead and paint the sun with strokes going up and down, but I'd recommend if you do that, or whatever type of stroke you do, you keep it uniform throughout the whole sun. So if you wanna do up and down, go ahead and color in the whole sun up and down just like that. All right, so I have my sun, and what we're gonna do 
is we're going to leave that to dry just a little bit and we're going to go ahead and work on the sky. So we're going to go ahead and start the sky in the sky. I chose a really pretty blue right here, so a nice light blue color. And we're going to go ahead and start out with that. So I'm going to go ahead and take my towel. We're going to go ahead and use our broad brush once more. I'm going to go ahead and wipe it off, get some of that blue paint from earlier off like that and then I'm gonna go ahead dip it in the paint and start getting in the light blue color right here all right so now that I have my light blue I'm gonna go ahead and get some on the brush I'm gonna go ahead and start painting back and forth like so. And what I'm going to try and do is obviously not paint into the sun, but go ahead and try and paint around it. So this is going to get a little bit tricky because obviously, as I said before, we want to try and use uniform brush strokes along the way, but if we go ahead and keep doing it right to left, left to right, we may accidentally get some of the blue paint into the sun. And although that would not be the end of the world, obviously it would be a little bit better if we go ahead and try to avoid that. So we're gonna go ahead and kind of circle around the blue just like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and continue making my strokes. And basically, I'm going to do the same thing as I did down here, but with the lighter blue and up among the sun. So as you can see, I am starting to run out of my light blue coloring. And I think it's obvious that I'm not going to be able to paint as much light blue as we see in this example right here, in this one. But that is totally okay. So what we can do is, as we did with the same strategy before, is go ahead, use plenty of water, and just try and get that blue pigment to spread out as much as we can. So as you can see, it's much lighter. It's not as solid as this example right here, but that's okay. Just do what you can and it's going to look great anyways. As you can see, it still looks pretty cool. So that's very nice. So there you go. Obviously that is as much light blue as I can get it. All right, so now we have almost all of our painting. Now all we have left to do is the sun and then some reflections in the ocean below. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is go ahead and use some classic watercolor technique. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna take the broad brush once more right here. I'm 
go ahead and wipe it off, get some of that blue paint off. And then I'm just gonna go ahead, I'm gonna dip it into the water. However, I'm not gonna dip it into any coloring. I'm gonna go ahead and just add on some water into the area where the sun is. And what we'll do is we'll come right back and add in some really pretty oranges. Give the sun some extra color. So just like that, we have a bunch of water on our sun. We're gonna go ahead, now we're gonna take our thin brush. We're gonna go ahead and wipe that off. And let's go ahead, dip it in the water. And this time we're gonna go ahead and dip it and start getting some color into the orange. So dip it in the water a couple times. Go ahead, get it into the orange. So we have some nice pigment in the water and go ahead get some orange on your brush. Next what we're going to go ahead is very lightly, don't press too hard, just skim over all of that water we just added on with that orange. Go ahead, go back and forth, go ahead, add on as much as you like, just like that. Very thin, very carefully, gently, don't press down too hard. And right there, you will have some nice watercolor effects that will come once this dries. What you can do if you think you've added too much orange or you just want it to be spread out a little bit more, go ahead, take a dry brush without any other coloring on it and just kind of go over and spread it around. Careful, try not to go ahead, get it into the blue sky. Keep it in the sun. Just like that, we have a beautiful orangey yellow sun. So the very last step, we are almost done, is we're gonna go ahead and add some white reflections in the water. If you've ever seen the sun set on a body of water, whether it be a ocean or a lake or whatever it be, you'll notice we'll have some beautiful reflections of white light in the water. So what we're going to go ahead and do is basically showcase that in this painting, make it really look like there's a sunset for the beautiful ocean. And we're going to go ahead and use some white. We don't use white very often, but we're going to go ahead and do so. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to take our thin brush. We're going to get any coloring out of there. And then what we're going to do is go ahead, dip it in the water, and then start coloring in the white. You may want to be careful. Make sure you don't have any other color on your paintbrush. And try to keep that white coloring as white as it can be. White can be tricky because you can get other colors into it. And it will be very hard to get out and get that nice clear white. If your white isn't perfect, that's totally fine. It'll work perfectly. So let's go ahead Grab some yellow on our brush, and we're gonna go ahead, be very careful, and gently press down on the paper some nice thin white lines, just like that. And we're gonna go ahead and keep making a bunch of these, just like so, in random areas. When you start to run out of white, you can go back. And if you think that the white and one of your stripes, like this one right here, is a little bit too faded, you can go ahead and go back right over it, just like that. And we're gonna go ahead and keep on going, just like that. Now the goal with this is to make almost a triangle going down as it gets closer to the bottom. So we're gonna have our white lines first of all be a little bit longer as it go as it's closer to the sun and also more spread out to the right and left and as
as we do this, we're gonna keep going, start keep going to the bottom. Our lines are just gonna get a little bit shorter, maybe a little bit closer together, but most importantly, they're not gonna go out that far. So as you can see, it starts out wide and then it comes down closer and closer together as we go out, or I'm sorry, as we get closer to the bottom of our seam. So you can go ahead, go back over. Go ahead, add a few more, both long stripes of white and then thin, thinner stripes of white. We're gonna go ahead Just like that, we have the reflections of light within the water. So there we go. That is the end of our painting. All right, that is gonna be it for today's video. I thank you so much for watching and I hope you had some fun. I ask really quickly that you check out the survey below. It'll only take a few minutes and it'll help me out a lot. Thank you so much again, and I hope to see you on the next one.